After installing Lightburn for Galvo, you will no longer be able to utilize EasyCAD 2 or any of its tools like CoreFile. Should the need for these tools arise, you will need to remove the driver that Lightburn installs during setup and re-enable the EasyCAD 2 driver. Note, the following steps assume that you had EasyCAD 2 installed on this computer previously. If not, you will need to manually install the EasyCAD 2 drivers after removing the Lightburn driver. Before we start the process, notice that Lightburn is currently connected to my laser, as noted here in the laser window. Your laser control will need to be on and connected to your PC via the USB cable for this process. To re-enable the EasyCAD 2 drivers, we will need to open up Device Manager by clicking the Windows search area and typing Device. Scroll to the bottom and look for the line called Universal Serial Bus Devices. Click this line to open the dropdown, and you will find a line called USB LMC V2. We need to uninstall this driver by right clicking on it and clicking Uninstall Device. Make sure to check Attempt to Remove the Driver for this Device or Delete Driver for this Device, depending on your version of Windows. Click Uninstall. You may be prompted to restart your computer. You can do that now if you would like, but it is not required for this process to work successfully. Now that you've disabled the Lightburn for Galvo driver, unplug the USB cable or power off your laser's control, whichever is easier for your setup. After a few seconds, plug the USB cable back in or power the control back on and let your PC scan for new devices. If this does not happen automatically, you can go to the toolbar device manager and click action, scan for hardware changes. If EasyCAD 2 was previously installed on this computer, you should see the BJJCZ device line show up near the top of this list. If this computer has never had EasyCAD 2 installed before, you will need to go through the process of manually installing these drivers, which we will not be covering in this video. Once this is complete, open up the EasyCAD 2 instance to make sure everything is working properly. If you would like to go back to Lightburn, just rerun the Lightburn installer and make sure to check Install EasyCAD 2 driver used by Galvos at the end of the installation. If you need help with this, you can refer to the Setting Up Lightburn for Galvo video linked below. If you have not already, subscribe and ring the bell to not miss any future videos, and be sure to check out our existing tutorial playlist for additional guides on mastering Lightburn.